Two things I want to show you with getting your calendar sharing right. One is the power of group calendars or team calendars. And so when you have a group of staff, let's say maybe a finance team, maybe it's your sales team, you can create an individual calendar for them. And so to do that, you click on to plus and then create a new calendar. So it's under other calendars down here, plus and then create a new calendar. And if you'd like to do this with me, you can. You can create a new calendar and let's call this team events. So you may only need one for the business if you're a small business, but we can create a calendar and it's gonna give it a separate calendar and a separate color. Now, once I've created that team events calendar, I might call it test just so the team don't get confused. I can make it available for everyone in the company automatically to just see all the event details. That makes it pretty straightforward. Or if I would like to only make it available to specific people, I can add them by name one by one. That makes that pretty easy. But I'm gonna make that available for IT Genius. And one of the things that I like about this is it means that when I create an event, let's say I have a standing meeting that happens Thursday afternoons. I'm gonna open that event there and say team sync. I can add that to the team calendar. And then the whole team are gonna see that. But if I want the team to actually come along and join that meeting, well, I'm going to add individual staff, invite them along. There we go, all right, cool. Oh, there we go, look at that. It even says that Red is out of the office. Cool, I like that when that shows up. Let's remove Merv actually, because he's probably busy. All right, gonna send that meeting. And then watch what happens. When I invite myself to that meeting, I'm gonna have the team meeting on my calendar, but it's also gonna pop up and I'm gonna have a little double up there because it's gonna show up on my calendar as well. Ta-da, there we go. So I get an individual, I get an individual invite and I can say yes to that meeting as well. Now, one of the cool things that I'm gonna show you is how to set up permission groups. And when we set up permission groups, we can actually invite a whole group of people to a calendar event. And when I open up a calendar event here and I invite a group, for example, let's invite my attract team, which is our marketing team. I can invite a group of staff and it's automatically going to invite any members of that group. Ta-da, there we go. So I can open up that group and it's gonna show me all the members of that group. And as long as I keep that group updated, it's automatically going to be inviting anyone new added to that group to this team meeting, even if it's a recurring meeting. Cool, all right. So that's it for mail and calendar. Oh, the very last one, and I know someone asked a question about this, is let's talk about scheduling inside of calendar. That's very important. Now, I used to actually teach for people to use a third-party solution like Calendly or Schedule Once, and there's lots of other tools out there that will, you know, if you wanna like take payments and those kind of things, there's plenty of third-party tools just in case people are interested in that level of sophistication. But if you just need a basic scheduling booking link that you wanna to add to your signature or maybe embed in a web page for your website, we've actually just started using the basic Google Calendar scheduler because it is, it's absolutely excellent. And so we're gonna to go to create, we're gonna to go to appointment schedule and I'm gonna choose when I'm available for appointments. Now I'm pretty busy this week, so let's go and look at next week. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. Okay, so I can choose when I'm available for appointments. Now I don't work Mondays or Fridays, so let's get rid of Mondays and Fridays. And let's say I only really want people to bother me like on Thursdays, because I've got high priority stuff that I wanna keep my time open for myself on Tuesday. So I'll make Thursdays open and yeah, I don't really want that to be too late, so I'll make it 4 p.m. All right. So that is book time with Pete, and this can be for whoever and for however much time you would like. You can choose settings like how long, you know, before bookings can people book in and, you know, when you're available and whatnot. Basically, Google has given you no buffer time. Oh, there we go. You can add buffer time. So, you know, you have like a little break between meetings and whatnot. The cool thing about this is Google have added a lot of features to this. And, and initially, it wasn't so feature rich. But now this pretty much does everything those third party apps did that people were going to. And so I, I'm always a fan of doing things inside the Google ecosystem. It just makes things easy. So you can see here, you've got a booking page. I can link to that publicly. 
I can share that with someone if I want, which is pretty cool. The booking page is nicely branded. It's very googly. I can even click see what others see. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Ta-da. And the kind of thing that we do with this is on our website, if you've scheduled a consultation before, you would know what that looks like. And so you just head along to our consult page. And then after you've done a form on the thank you page. So yeah, we've got these beautiful smiling faces, Celeste and Liam, and you can click through onto any one of their calendars. Boom book a call straight in. So that makes it nice and easy to do that. All right, if you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.